Hi everybody, it's a demo with coplock.org. Yesterday myself and several other coplock.org members, including Pete Ayer, headed to Plymouth, New Hampshire to cover a demonstration put on by foreign police officer Bradley Jardis. A lot of students voiced their concerns about the distractions that, that would be caused of people having firearms on their hips. A lot of other people who are pro-gun related that most would conceal carry and you wouldn't even know. This is a hard issue to get back and forth to people until this example came up. And again, someone who's of the criminal mindset is not going to announce that they're going to do something illegal. Any person could walk onto this campus at any time carrying a firearm. No one would know about it. See, are you a police officer? Are you a police officer? Yeah. You are? What agency do you work for? Grafton County Sheriff's Department. You're Grafton County Sheriff's Department? What's your name? Detective Eric James. Detective Eric James. So here's a perfect example. This is Detective Eric James. He's currently a law enforcement officer in street clothes, and he's probably carrying a firearm. And nobody knew it. This is Detective Eric James of the Grafton County Sheriff's Department. He's, he's in a straight clothes. For all they know, I could be carrying a gun right now, and there's nothing they can do to prove it. And that's exactly the point I'm trying to make. Pretty ironic, isn't it? An undercover officer carrying a gun with no one knowing didn't bother anything that was going on that day and was actually what Brad and Tommy wanted to do themselves, only open carry, which is actually a more deterrent because who wants to mug the guy with a gun on his hip? I'd also like people to note in this video the police presence and their lack of uh, comment on the double standard of why police officers are a deterrent because they carry firearms and have the ability to arrest people but private individuals carrying fire, firearms and holding individuals accountable does not work to deter crime. Again, see these clips. I'm just uh, curious to hear if there's any, like, uh, what sort of meetings or anything's been communicated to y'all about the event going on today? Yes, we have multiple agencies working for this event today. And I can't give out any information regarding the event, but I assure you that everything do you yourself have any concerns? Do you think someone has a right to carry a firearm to defend themselves? Like I said, I cannot get about any information or my opinions about this event today, okay? Thank you. Do you guys have a, a personal opinion on someone's ability to carry here on campus? No comment on that. I see that uh, both of y'all looks like you're carrying. Is that, are there some double standards because you guys have badges? choosing not to engage, to talk. All right, what do you think about today's events and like open carrying in the state of New Hampshire? I don't have a comment, but thank you. you. Have a comment? All right. What's your name, sir? Uh, Sergeant Hutchins. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We're open to that. Just hope to hear your thoughts on the situation today. And Just want to be here and make sure everyone's having a good day. So. Right on. Do you have, do you have any uh, Comment about the uh, couple individuals that might show up in open carry. Have you guys had any like special meetings or training in preparation? Just, we're just here today. Make sure everyone's having a good day. Do you think individuals should be do have the right to have a firearm to carry a firearm openly? In New Hampshire, here on this on this public property at Plymouth State. I don't have any comment. Well, do you guys think you guys have the right to carry firearms because you have a badge, or what's the difference? It's just how they set it up. You know, I hope if you think you have the right to carry a firearm to defend yourself, you don't think it's your, the badge you wear grants that, that right. I mean, do you find it odd, though, that you purport to work for the community and you don't want to have a conversation about it. Can you ask me why, like, you carrying guns keeps people safe but other people carrying guns doesn't? I mean, but you guys are choosing to abide by those rules. You, they only have uh, authority because people grant them that authority. 